Hi there. Today we are going out into the field to sow wheat. That's why we are going to show you in this short video how to calibrate an Aerosem VT. Have fun! The first step is to go to the set menu and choose the seed library. Here, the metering units are assigned to the required seed material. If different seeds or fertilizers are being used, assign them using D1 and D2. Metering unit D1 is always on the left side in the direction of travel. Today, we are using both halves of the hopper for the same wheat seed, so we select D1 plus D2. The set application rate is then divided 50-50 between the two metering units while sewing. Make sure that identical metering wheels are used. In the seed library, there is also the possibility to adapt the respective seed material. First, you adjust the application rate, either in kilograms per hectare or in seeds per square meter. To do this, the exact 1000 grain weight must be entered in line 4, and the germination capacity of the seed is entered in line 8. During calibration, the filling level of one rotation of the metering wheel is determined automatically. A warning threshold for the hopper material level can be set and adjusted for different types of seed. A target speed for the fan can be specified to match the seed type. If this is not reached, an alarm is given. The hectoliter weight can be set separately and is required for selecting the right metering wheel. If seed flow sensors are fitted, their sensitivity is adjustable from 0 to 10. 0 corresponds to a low number of seeds per square meter, so this is the highest sensitivity, e.g. for oiled seed rain. 10 corresponds to a very high number of seeds per square meter and is the lowest sensitivity. For wheat, we choose sensitivity level 5. The quantity applied and the area sown are also displayed below. Once all the parameters have been matched to the seed, the next step is to select the right metering wheel. The metering wheels are all displayed in the sub-menu. A green tick means that the metering wheel is ideal. A yellow tick means the metering wheel is OK. A metering wheel that is crossed out in red is not suitable. If several metering wheels are ideal, or as in our case, the application rate is divided between two metering units, it is best to choose the smaller metering wheel. If you want to find out which metering wheels are suitable in advance, without using a control terminal, you can use the free iOS Metering Wheel Assist app or the online calculator. We start the calibration process, enter the metering unit to be calibrated, and select D1, D2, or D1 plus D2. If only one seed was selected for both metering units, as in our case with D1 plus D2, only one metering unit needs to be calibrated. The calibration value is then copied to the other metering unit automatically. The main requirement is that both metering units have identical metering wheels. With D1 plus D2, it is also possible to calibrate both metering units simultaneously. Then, the average driving speed while sewing and the pre-metering time are entered. This is the time that the seed takes to travel from the metering unit to the seed coulter. This is particularly important when using section control. You will now be prompted to change the metering wheel. Attach the calibration bag and carry out the pre-metering. The metering wheels calculated must be installed in the metering unit and the seed flap must be adjusted to the type of seed. There are three positions for fine, normal or large seed. After opening the calibration flap and attaching the calibration bag, pre-metering can be carried out so that the metering wheel is filled with seed. Pre-metering can be performed using the control terminal or the external calibration button. The scales must then be zeroed to the weight of the empty calibration bag. The calibration process can be started and stopped using the control terminal or the external calibration button. The revolutions of the metering shaft are displayed on the terminal. The more revolutions, the more accurate the calibration will be.
the weight is then entered at the terminal. If calibration was performed without errors, then it must be confirmed, even if there is a large deviation. This transfers the measured values to the seed library. If the deviation between the target and actual values is too large, or if the material is being calibrated for the first time, we recommend that you repeat the calibration process. Another way to calibrate the machine is by area. To do this, enter the metering unit to be calibrated and the surface area at the terminal. After starting the process, the area is automatically metered. The weight is then entered at the terminal again. The calibration by area must then be confirmed again or cancelled if there was an operator error. If two different types of seed are applied or seed is applied with fertilizer, the calibration process must also be carried out on the second metering unit. When you have finished calibrating the metering units, stow the scales in the calibration bag away again and close the calibration flap. Because the Erosem BT is easy to access, calibration can be carried out quickly and conveniently. I wish you much success with your seat drill. More success with Pertinger.